All right, guys. That is the half inch plenum notch. I actually did it rounded. I've got some experience with plenum notches. I don't really like them square. I like them rounded. But the bottom of it, the bottom, the lowest part of that is a, just a hair deeper than a half an inch. Okay, as far as our pluses and minuses, it's basically a loser. It's basically a loser. Now, why is it a loser? Well, before, we had a nice radius here. Nice radius feeding in. Now, a lot of the air wants to go right up in this corner on an angle. We don't have a radius there anymore, so, but it does have the ability to get more volume because it's got a bigger hole. Probably what I should do is see how big a, a calibration plate will fit over this hole and then move position of it and see what it, what it does. Because obviously this doesn't have the restriction of our carburetor on it, right? Now, just because it's a loser in your flow and it, it has, it's hit or miss on our, our swirls. Like this one was a loss everywhere on our swirl. This one was positive, negative, negative, positive, blah, blah. It's hit or miss, right? And in, in either case, those two ports which are the only two I've been working on because those are on the quickie port and I just flipped the manifold over are very very close as far as flow I mean way closer than I thought I could ever get a dual plane now do I think it will run better with the notch than without the notch yes because we're so limited with carburetor CFM I think it will. Will I notch it down anymore? I don't know. I might. I still have to think about it. Okay, this is important. Number six lower. See those ends? Number six, half inch notch. That's all gone. This is a minus two, I think. Yeah, this is a minus as well. So we lost a little flow, but we don't have that horrendous harmonic bouncing through the intake manifold. As I said, I don't think that would actually happen on a running engine, but it's, uh, it's interesting anyhow. So that was kind of interesting. A 300 CFM plate is a little big for that plenum, but you can see when I start to move it over and we get a lot more flow across this sharp edge, how it drops radically because the air has to go around and then through. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out.